Good afternoon and welcome back to Armored Warfare News. It's year 262 and this article just came out. It's going to be a really short video. But if you watched the M50 Antos video from earlier and I was talking about how is this going to work, then we have the BVPM ADA as a tier 4 premium and where is it going to fit in the battle path? Well, there's some good news and bad news. The very bad news here is that, and you can read this article on your own, they have decided that the BVP M80 was too powerful and that it couldn't be balanced because people were concerned that when it used this ATGM turret, which it had six, that they would burst fire them and at tier four that would be devastating, or that using the twin 30 millimeter gun turret, the firepower would be too powerful, kind of like the AMX 13 DCA. And so they get into a little bit here about how they tried to test it for tier five and they thought it was overpowered. They didn't want to balance it again. And so they're going to just continue to make tests, which essentially means in actuality, I don't think Armored Warfare is going to be running tests on this vehicle anymore. I think they're just going to shelve it and sell it as like a special premium vehicle, probably at tier six way in the future, or you may never see it again. But the official story is that while they are testing it, so that way they can have the Age of Rage um, battle path come out without it, They've, implement, they've added the M50 Antos with the promise that the BVP will show up later. However, I highly doubt that. The second thing, which you can watch my M95 Dagmon video, that is the Croatian MBT with the Tier 8 120. And just like that video I covered, it's not a very powerful vehicle. It just has a really powerful gun, which I thought was great to implement because it lacks in everything except mobility. However, they felt that it wasn't good enough, and so they're going to rebalance it for Tier 8. And to help offset people getting it, they're switching its place with the BWP-2000. And that was the original Polish AFV. It was the precursor to the Rosomach, something I was really excited for. And as I say here, upon its reveal, feedback was very positive. And to make it easier to obtain, blah, 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 they're going to include it in the progression system, which is good news for me because I really wanted the BWP-2000. And so originally... You had to buy a bunch of crates just like with the K1 and hope to build it over the course of the battle path. And so now the M95 will be in that place. So if you really wanted that vehicle, you can still get it. You just have to buy a lot of loot crates and hope that you build one out of the 100 parts. And if you didn't really want it that bad or if you don't want a vehicle that, in my opinion, is now not going to be really great at tier 8, you don't miss out on anything and you now have the option of getting the BWP 2000 which is an amazing or on paper it should be an amazing AFV I don't really know how it'll perform in game but I'm really excited for that so that's a change I welcome love that love the ability to get the um, BWP early but ultimately even though I am getting the M50 Antos and I will knock on wood hope nothing happens to that vehicle I'm very excited to get this in the game it's one of my most anticipated vehicles it is very sad for me to know that we lost such a unique vehicle in the bvp m80 because of it they're both great vehicles and they would both be great for low tier collectors like myself i just wish we didn't have to trade one for the other but if armored warfare is still balancing it it's not no hope is really lost i mean the bvp will be entered into the game later i've don't think it will personally but there is always the chance so at the end of the day we might get the best of both worlds and have the ability to get all these vehicles in the game just way way after the fact anyway that was it for news I'll keep you updated with these balancing changes coming out now that makes me you know want to say that the battle path will be released sometime in July but I'm trying to base it off of when we got our Israeli MBTs, and that wasn't until August. So I think that the slated date is still for August or September, sometime in the fall rather than the summer. But if they're making this many changes now, they might be ready to roll it out a little bit earlier than predicted. I will keep you updated. And if you want to get notified on any of those updates, please subscribe to the channel. Always welcome to support. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.